was made out of fall wrestling, but uh, it was Seth Rollins. It's cool, so that'd be cool to watch. I know Logan Paul had like a really cool um, spot on uh, the World Rumble match where he like collided with someone in midair. That was pretty dope. Uh, as a NC State fan, I'm happy we made it to the tournament this year. Yeah, that's actually really cool about NC State. Um, there, that's that, that is also one really cool thing about March Madness, which uh, a lot of people do forget about, is that it's just really cool to see teams make it, and that's really uh, important, at least in my eyes as well, is just seeing, um, I guess, fans fall in love with new teams. I mean, you saw it with, um, obviously the upsets with the 16 seeds, the 15 seeds, it's really cool to see these smaller schools get a lot of rec recognition, um, and I love seeing, like, um, those, like, uh, ESPN post about after a team gets upset, like, oh, this is where this team plays their home games, and it's like a high school basketball gym that it looks like. Uh, I think it's really cool that they get a lot of love and hopefully some more money budget for their for their school. Hopefully they, they actually get that um, with wins like that. Uh, Julius Randle, 57 points. Did Julius Randle score 57 today? I didn't know. Uh, what's up, Biggest Bird? What's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, I've been a Duke fan since a little kid, but just moved to Nashville.
PS5, which is fine, that's super easy to do and set up, but the microphone's quality on the PlayStations are dog duty. They sound really bad. It's why whenever I do uh, gaming content, I have to re-film an entire video. I have to film the video, and then I have to re-film the video again and provide voice over over it because the microphone quality is so bad whenever you do like live um video recordings on playstation so um maybe i'll do it one of these days again but like the audio quality on those videos are so bad they're just so bad and obviously asmr is mostly uh about audio <laughs> uh yo what's up cameron thank you so much for that um, 40k by July, uh, big, big, and you've said that before, it's not gonna happen, but, uh, I very much appreciate that, I said, I think I said it to you before, if I get 40k by July, I will give you $40,000 that I don't have, <laughs> uh, how am I doing, I'm doing okay, um, I'm doing okay, let's see, uh, I've already said this before, I haven't been really sleeping all that well recently, I've been staying up like some nights i'm not gonna lie guys i've been up since like six o'clock in the mornings like just um not really prioritizing my own health uh mentally i feel good though like i still feel okay uh physically it could definitely be a lot better um even when i, I went out to do, a, to do an iro video over the weekend and like just even being outside for like a couple hours like I could feel like my body being like, oh wow, this is like really different. Like this isn't the usual thing. Um, so that I definitely need to improve about being a little bit more normal, <laughs> waking up, going to bed, um, you know, prioritizing my own wellness a little bit better for sure, eating healthier, blah, blah, blah. And I think I will definitely when the, when the weather gets a little bit better, now that it's springtime, my, my favorite time of the year, are just all so fun. I mean, I, I sort of stated this before. It could probably be just the Super Bowl Stadium or ASMR in public video, the one I did at SoFi Stadium. Um, just because that memory is so great, like going there with my dad, and uh, it was a part of like a vacation, which was a great vacation, so like kind of everything tying together. Plus it also just being a very good, fun, and creative video. Um, it's probably it's probably that one. I'd have to say. What did that What did that other person say? Uh, go to Las Vegas and bet your bank account on the color black. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> even when I went to um, Vegas just a couple weeks ago, I was planning on doing like a gambling video. I didn't even do it, and then I didn't even do ga any gambling. Like on my own free time. I just, I, I know for a fact, I am not a lucky person. I'm not a lucky person at all. Um, nothing really, <laughs> I would say ever really goes my way. So I don't try to test my luck because I know what my luck is, so. That's that. Anyways, we have a nice little, little drink here. Which by the way, yes, I've been sort of bragging about me finally getting over my nail biting stuff so I actually have some nails to tap on some stuff for you guys it's just another a spiked lemonade this is the original lemonade which is a good one for sure see if I can do this quietly sorry if it's kind of loud Ooh, I'm actually super excited <laughs> honestly uh, like Mondays are so great because not only do I get to hang out with you guys but I usually have a nice something something for myself so cheers to you the first drink of it is always very tart because you're just getting like readjusted to that lemony flavor um yo from england yo what's up you should one day try to play some mobile games do you mean like play mobile games 
on live streams or just like play mobile games for the video, like for a channel video, because I've already done two of them. If you haven't seen, I've already done two mobile game videos. Um, nice. I, I love <laughs> Good Burger. It's a great movie. Um, so satisfying. Thank you, Stanny. Love from England. That's pretty cool. It's 2.30 where you're at right now, like 2.30 in the morning, I'm assuming. If it is, it's pretty crazy. Right now, it's only 7.30 where I am, thankfully. Usually, I try to uh, stay on live streams for a couple hours. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be here for a little bit. Uh, I love the IRL videos. I do two blitz. Um, it's definitely at the point with my IRL videos that I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared that I feel like watching my videos if they are you know IRL or if they're like super cool original um 200 IQ like whoa this is super oh, sorry about that neighbors upstairs uh super crazy ideas like blah 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 and I hate that I hate that I can't just make like normal content for you guys anymore like I, it's very hard for me to just like post like a a triggers video or a whisper ramble video like I feel like now people are expecting these videos all the time and it's so scary because I obviously can't I can't do it um and I don't want to like so I don't know it's scary I love the IRL videos but it's like it's like one of those things where I don't know it sucks it honestly it sucks uh, struggling with Alabama. I think I am. I think I am still sticking with Alabama as my pick for March Madness uh, tournament, I guess, winners. You can let me know yours if you would like to. But let me know your, your March Madness winners. I think I'm still going to go with Alabama. Uh, I think UConn has been looking pretty good. Um, Houston looked pretty dominant. Houston is obviously the other number one seed. That looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's crazy that Kansas lost against Arkansas which I called in my one hour long uh, ASMR basketball talking video. I called it and I feel really bad about it. I feel bad for that. I watch all the vids. I would hope so. I would hope, um, I would really hope so. Yeah, um, that's definitely the plan. <laughs> Obviously I know I, I, I am very d diverse, diverse, diverse pronounce it in the content that I make obviously I do make the sports content but I also make very traditional ASMR content like role plays and trigger videos but I'm hoping there's like the, the, the diverse group I'm looking for is are the people in the middle the people who will obviously support me no matter what will watch me no matter what uh, if I do ASMR not ASMR ASMR in public um, any type of video I'm hoping that's that those are the people that I would really like in my community, if you want to call it that, <laughs> I hate those like very like uh, I don't know like YouTube -y terms like community. <laughs> I feel like that's so weird. You guys just watch my watch my channel. That's cool. That's all I really care uh, about. I don't really care about like oh we're a family. We're the we're the ballers. Like no, that's <laughs> a little much too YouTube -y talk. Thank you, Blitz. Um, Alpha, I, I, I'm pretty good. Are, my, are the best. Thank you for that. Um, try some eye-catching titles. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> That's not very ASMR-like, you know. But I know a lot of other channels do it, but like, I don't know. There's other videos that I watch, so I'm not gonna post or create content that I wouldn't watch. I just finished watching the Warriors-Rockets game. That's pretty sick. Who won that game? Probably the Warriors. It's 10.30 for you. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, when was the first time you were on a plane? When was the first time I was ever on a plane? Oh, when I was a baby, probably. <laughs> My family really liked to, to travel a lot since I was growing up in California. Uh, my mom's side of the family lived in the Pacific Northwest, so they would go and travel around there a lot. And then when my parents were younger, they liked to travel a lot. Um, like even over 
overseas and stuff like that, so how do you even have to ask them? How do you even have to ask them that question? Because I wouldn't even really, really know the answer to it. <laughs> Can you do ASMR videos on anime? I do not watch any anime. Um, I'm not like against it. Um, I've already sort of stated that I think anime is cool. Um, in my most recent IRL video, I go into a store and they have like manga, 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 whatever you pronounce it, uh, books in there. I sort of talked about them in there. And uh, if I had like a Crunchyroll account, I'd probably watch it. I mean, the only any, the only anime I'd really be interested in watching fully would be like like Dragon Ball Z, even though I don't know like the story of Dragon Ball Z because I used to play the video games all the time. Um, but, like I don't watch like Attack on Titan or uh, Hunter Hunter. Also, just don't like how time-consuming animes are. Obviously, it's you know six, seven scenes long, and like they're very confusing. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of hard to sort of all take in, I guess. And Angel fans, yeah, I like the Angels for sure, for sure. Um, angels are, are good. I'm not like a die-hard Angels fan. It's like my dad. My dad's like a very die-hard Angel fan. I, I definitely like the Angels for sure. Uh, like the Padres for sure, the Mariners, yeah. Um, but then again, I, I'm not like even like a diehard baseball fan, so it's not like I like am like cheering them on or anything. Like then again, I'm not like a diehard anything. <laughs> I'm not like super passionate. Well, I guess ASMR would pretty, would pretty much be like one of the very few things I'm like diehard about. Uh, but even like basketball, I'm not like oh I cry if my team loses or I'm pissed off or screaming at the top of my lungs. Like I'm, I'm just not really like that. series i have not it's, it's like that's what i'm saying like nine seasons that's crazy like tv shows and me are like very i don't like tv shows a lot I, i'm more of a much more into movies um than, than tv shows it's just it's just a lot of time um i mean only i've only ever really watched a very few amount of tv shows like all the way through like the office breaking bad I may have watched like a couple, like Daredevil, when Daredevil was a series on Netflix, I watched um, all the seasons of that. Maybe like a, maybe like a couple other shows, but like it's it's not it's not a, a lot. And I cry every year. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> Angels are uh, they're pretty bad. Uh, what's up, Hammy? What's up? What's up, Shreks? Watch Dragon Ball Super. Isn't Dragon Ball Super like the uh, like the the black haired Goku from? And he has like the gray, like the gray like outfit on. I actually have no idea. Because I know there's that one, and then there's like the blue hair Goku, and then there's like a pink haired Goku. That's just that's that's way over my head. Uh, what's up, Oscar? Prison Break. I think someone else on the channel once suggested Prison Break, and actually does sound like a pretty interesting show. Uh, I've seen like the trailer of it on Netflix, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Celtic fan, that's pretty good. Obviously, they have a good chance of making it this year. Um, I'm super excited about the NBA playoffs. I'm actually let me check out the scores for today. Um, the Grizzlies beat the Mavericks. Did Luka play today? Let's see. Uh, nope, it was just Kyrie again. And Kyrie was... Oh, Christian Wood actually had a good game too. But the Grizzlies beat the Mavericks. Warriors smashed the Rockets. The Timberwolves scored 140 points on the Knicks. Not a very good uh, defensive game for the Knicks like usual. The Bulls, the Bulls, the Bulls, the Bulls, the Chicago Bulls end up beating the Philadelphia 76ers in double overtime. That's... Pretty insane, not gonna lie. And the Hornets beat the Pacers, which I think... Oh, they do not have Tyrese Halliburton back, okay. Dang. And the Mellow Ball also didn't play, but Kelly Oubre had a 30-point game. Good job, Kelly Oubre, I guess. That's pretty wild. Oh, what's up, Lucas? Um, Julius ran out of 57 points, that's cool. But they still lost, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's currently 2.46 in the morning uh, from here 
Arsenal picture. I'm assuming you're some from somewhere in the UK. Um, yeah, you should definitely try. I'm trying to go to bed for sure. Um, definitely need to uh, get on that. I know I've been really bad with going to bed too, as well. Sorry about that. My neighbors upstairs are being stupidly loud. Um, but uh, I did get some melatonin at the store today. Some, some melatonin. Um, even though I try to not to take it, obviously taking it like every single night to go to bed is not a good thing because your, your body like produces its own melatonin. So if you add melatonin to it, it stops producing melatonin. Yeah. So I try to not take it all that often, but I did get some some more today because I definitely need it. Um, again, make sure you guys like 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 the live streams. If you guys have been enjoying the live streams. Um, yeah, like I stated earlier, another one of my live streams are, I don't know what YouTube's doing, <laughs> like, there's, uh, two other live streams that I did over the past couple of weeks that are just kind of going crazy, like, both of them are almost at 30,000, which is kind of wild to think about, because, um, even my other content on my channel can't even get that far, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm assuming that YouTube, I don't know, this is like a sign a week and I've thought about doing it maybe doing like a live stream on Monday and then maybe doing like a live stream on like Thursday have like a midweek um live stream but then again I don't want to like overindulge in the live streams because that's also not a good thing of doing it too much because then it's too much ah man YouTube is is confusing um I would love to do another live stream on Thursdays but um already already trying to uh, establish a Monday night live stream thing has been very hard to do. I feel like even a lot of people, a lot, 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 a lot of people on the channel still don't even know about the Monday night live streams, which is sad because I think it's they're they're pretty chill. But um, maybe maybe one of these days I'll incorporate it. But again, I've already went through a whole tangent on <laughs> how much it sucks that you know you my live stream content when it's not really helping out my actual content that I put a lot of time and effort in. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> algebra test, that sucks. Yeah, algebra was really bad for me. Actually, for me, geometry. Geometry was a pretty tough class. Uh, try CBD. I have decided to go sleep on your live. That's awesome. Good luck with that, Morgan. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thursday live. Maybe, maybe one of these days I'll, uh, I'll do a Thursday night live stream. But I think uh, we're just going to continue on with this concept of just doing Monday nights and just uh, see how, how well it does for us. Obviously, we've seen it does pretty okay, so we're just going to stick with that for, for now, I, I, I guess. And obviously, you know, Monday, every month, every other Monday is very up and down. Sometimes we get like 200 plus people in here. Sometimes we only get like 100, give or take in here. It's very iffy, but that's how it is for like all live streaming. Um, I do watch a lot of Twitch. I do watch a lot, a lot of Twitch actually, and it's the kind of same thing over there. Uh, some people will get a lot of high days. Some people, it's every other every other time they go live. It's kind of different, so uh, they kind of have to go with the flow. I really would love to do like a like an IRL live stream. I yeah, it could be a lot of cool. I love IRL live streams. I think they're pretty fun to watch. Um, like if I could do if I could somehow figure out how to do like a like an ASMR live stream, but like in public, like maybe I go out and like walk, like take a walk in the park, and like try to do something relaxing while also being live. I feel like that could be like really fun. But uh, obviously, I know like live streams take up a lot of data so that would probably i don't know i don't know if that's a very smart idea it would definitely take up a lot of, of my data <laughs> uh do you want seattle to have a baseball team well seattle already has a baseball team you feel so hyperactive right now um well this is the place to sort of chillax or some of my other content or even just asmr in general Probably a good idea to sort of get on that. Um, you 
try Sundays. Yeah, but Sundays for me are like pretty hectic. And if I would want to stick to like a schedule, trying to plan out having Sunday nights, like every, a live stream every Sunday night, like dude, like Sunday night, like not only do a lot of other people around the world have stuff going on, but even I couldn't stick to it every Sunday night. Sunday that's that's kind of unfair for myself I feel but I don't know maybe <laughs> maybe one of these if we get super desperate maybe I'll try to do it oh uh, do I watch on Twitch oh uh, you always up Ziggy um do you stream on Twitch no I do not stream on Twitch um I watch like XQC I watch like Nick Merckx I watch I have to go through like my following. I used to be like really into like um, like the 2K streamers, like Los Polos TV and like Cash Nasty when they used to go live like way back in the like years ago. Um, some others I got to out of the scroll through my <laughs> my stuff. Um, like Tifu. Sometimes I watch Tifu. I guess I guess I'm not on Twitch all that often now that I really think about it. But um, yeah, I'm not on Twitch. Twitch is a very complex platform even more complex than youtube it's a place that at least i feel that you go to when you already have an established use that 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 keyword community 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 and i don't feel like you know the 20 give or take thousand um subscribers that i have on my channel would uh really flock if I went live on Twitch, I'd probably get like 50, 30, 50, 60 people on there, which is a lot of people. Obviously, like even on here, we only have like 100 plus, give or take. So, you know, that's still a good amount of people, but it's very hard to grow on Twitch. It's very hard to obtain followers on Twitch organically. Like, if I were to go on Twitch, it'd be far, 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 far in the future. Maybe when I get like over 100,000 subs, which again, may not even ever happen. So, that's very wishful thinking. Uh, yo, what's up, Giovanni? Giovanni, what's up, Sam? Uh, Zach, the spiked lemonades are super, 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 super delicious. Um, they might be my favorite, um, like, seltzer, whatever type of, uh, alcoholic beverage. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, obviously, like, White Claws are always great. I need to find a new one to do. Uh, I think we're, uh, we're about out of these, which you guys know, I don't drink that often. Obviously, whenever I go live, it seems like I do all the time, but uh, I really only ever drink these when I'm either live or like maybe I'll have like one after work or after like watching a game or something like that. How's it going? It's going good. Money Night Lives are a lot. Thursdays too would be good. Uh, I have before actually done a, what date is that? I think I did a live stream on, it was on like a Thursday or a Wednesday, and, uh, you know, no offense, did, didn't do that well. <laughs> it, it didn't go so well. Um, so I don't know. I'd have to see. Twitch is so sensitive. Um, I mean, I think all platforms are pretty sensitive. I mean, YouTube's pretty sensitive. It just depends on, like, the stuff that you want to do. Obviously, if you're, you know, trying to, like, stay on both sides of, like, following the rules and not following the rules, then you're like, no, duh, <laughs> you're gonna get clapped for that. But, uh, as long as you're doing stuff you're supposed to be doing, you should be pretty good. How about doing Twitch? Yeah. Um, again, in my opinion, I think Twitch is fun. I feel like if you're a gamer, like, to game, gaming in general, it's yeah, go live, I guess, and, like, have the potential to uh, grow in that way, but obviously, A, I'm not that much of a gamer, I like to game a lot, but, like, you know, I wouldn't say I'm, like, good at video games, so, like, that's one thing that people wouldn't follow me for, and, uh, again, it's, it's so hard to grow, it, it, I don't understand or even fathom how people get so big on Twitch just from Twitch, like, people I've gotten the hundreds of thousands of followers just from being on Twitch. It blows my mind. Because obviously the the 
algorithm on uh, on Twitch is weird, I think. Would you rather have unlimited bacon but no more games? Or would you rather have... Uh, that's a... I have no idea what you're asking. Um, but yeah, so... subscribe of course make sure you guys like 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 the live streams you can click down and like it you can close the chat close 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 the chat click that little like button it really helps out the channel uh it helps out the, the live stream but i wanted to tell you guys about um two videos that i have well one i have one that i'm planning on doing uh the one that i have if you guys wanted to know IRL video that I was stating that I've made over the weekend was in fact A S M R at the zoo. Yes, I finally filmed and am now currently editing the ASMR at the zoo video. I went to the zoo over the weekend. It was a great time, a beautiful day. Um, and that might have been the best day I have ever had at the zoo ever. I think every single animal was out that day. It was super great. I feel like that video, it, it, it hopefully can do really well, um, barring from YouTube. We'll have to see what it does with it, but I feel like it's a great video. So that video is done. I don't know um, what day to post it, though. I don't know if I want to post it tomorrow. I don't know if I want to post it a little bit later in the week. I don't know what you guys are feeling. I mean, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure you guys are going to be saying, oh, film it tomorrow. that video i'm very scared that i'm gonna post it a day where just like people aren't uninterested or people just aren't online and that video's gonna flop which happened that has happened before many times so i'm very uh nervous about that uh i'm going to stream tonight probably only about two hours um i think today's live stream is a very low-key live stream i can already tell from like the people that are in here and stuff like that tonight's is a very it's a very low-key vibe in here so i think i might only stream for for about another hour, hour and a half or so. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, maybe Friday. Yeah, Friday could be a good idea. Maybe closer to the weekend. That's what I was thinking too. Um, because I do have a couple other video ideas that I might try as well, which is one video idea that I want to throw at you guys. You guys can sort of give your own opinion about it. Um, is in fact um, a ASMR, like a day in my life video. Like it's basically like an ASMR video, but it's an ASMR video that I film for 24 hours. I'm not going, it's not going to be a 24 hour long video, but it's going to be a video of me doing ASMR over the span of 24 hours. You know what I mean? Um, I think that could be really fun. I think it could be like a really dope idea. Um, it's going to be a, a hassle of trying to edit and film that. But I think that could be kind of cool. Like, just like, it's sort of like a day, day in my life. But in like an ASMR form. That could be a pretty fun idea, you know what I mean? So, uh, let me know if, if you guys would, <laughs> would be interested in a video like that. I'm trying to think about more, um, I don't want to say unique ideas. Because I'm sure like other people have done that kind of stuff before as well. But like, I don't know. It's really hard to come up with ideas when I've been, you know, I have over a thousand videos on my channel and obviously YouTube is a very repetitive um, thing. And so is ASMR. If you go on a lot of channels out there, a lot, 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 a lot of ASMR channels just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat videos every single time they upload. I'm not throwing shade at anyone. But there are a lot of ASMR channels out there that just do the same video every single time they upload, and it works. Uh, for me and my channel, I obviously can't do that. Uh, you guys would be so uninterested so fast if I did that. So it's really hard that I have to constantly come up with new ideas. And I think that'd be a pretty fun idea. So, um, yeah. Um, it's not the morning. <laughs> How am I doing this?
this night. I'm actually doing pretty good, pretty good this night. The Owen thinks. Um, do you collect anything? I do not collect anything. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I should start. <laughs> I don't feel like um, a lot of people actually collect a lot of stuff nowadays. I know back in the day, my mom used to collect spoons. <laughs> back in the day, she, she has like a huge collection of like spoons from like around the world, even from her travels. And I think she has one spoon, like a state spoon from like every state. I don't know. I know collecting spoons was like a big thing back in the day. Um, my dad used to collect um, hockey trading cards. He has like a big box full of like hockey trading cards, which is kind of funny, <laughs> but I've never been too uh, infatuated with anything to, to really collect stuff. Like a coin collection.
season of baseball. I don't even really watch it. Um, so I'm not like the biggest fan of like watching baseball on TV, but like on, not on, in real life. In 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 real life, I love watching baseball. So um, I've only seen like the highlights and stuff like that. So. Sack at UCLA. That's gonna be a really, really, really good game. Um, I think it really just comes down to the defense of UCLA. Uh, I think I would still go with UCLA winning that game because I believe that defense does in fact beat a good offense, at least in March Madness and college basketball. I think it's easier to depend on a good defense than it is for you know a team to get hot, which obviously the the, the Gonzaga Bulldogs are known to be an offensive team. So if UCLA can sort of just handle the defense while putting up some good numbers, I think they'll, they'll, they'll definitely win. But if, obviously, Gonzaga is just uh, on fire, I mean, you can't really stop that. So uh, I probably will still say UCLA, but I think Gonzaga can, can have a good shot because, obviously, Gonzaga are a good offensive team. They've kind of always been really, so yeah, it's kind of tough. What's up, Kanye? Much love from the UK. Much love from the UK. Do I watch table tennis? Yes, I I love table tennis. Table tennis is my favorite, favorite, favorite sport of all time. <laughs> uh, no. Table tennis is fun, though. Table tennis is fun, though. I don't even know, like, where you would even watch, like, professional, I guess, table tennis. Um, we think the Bucks have a good shot this year. Yeah, I think for sure. They might even be my new favorites out in the East. Um, I think that the, uh, man, I think, probably, yeah, I think I maybe would pick the Bucks to win the chip this year. Either them, or again, like, I always say the same five teams, like the Bucks, the Denver, Sixers, Suns, and then you can kind of throw in, like, really anyone else in there. <laughs> it's kind of like the Celtics, of course, and like XYZ team, but uh, the Bucks do look really, really, really good, for sure, for sure. Um, keep up the great work. I'll try my best. I will try my best. I like your little uh, profile picture, too, by the way. It's pretty cool looking. The Nike logo. Thoughts on Japan and U.S.? Oh, wait, so it's already the finals for the WBC. I didn't even know that the finals were already happening, but that's really cool. It's going to be the U.S. and Japan. Um, I know Japan, yeah, just played today. I watched, like, like an inning or two of that game, and I, I changed the channel, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah. Uh, what's my favorite song by any artist? What is my favorite song? By the way, I was thinking about doing, like, a Spotify video, um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be posting it on YouTube, but if you someone who is interested i'm probably gonna make a community post a community 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 post about this also if you like music if you want me to talk music if you want me to like show you guys my music if you guys want to like listen to music together or like anything like that let me know if that if you'd be interested in a video like that because i think what i might do is just make a video and then just like sell it or like show it as personal content like a custom content video because i have people asking all the time to do videos like that on YouTube, and I know for a fact it's going to get demonetized, it might even get taken down, I've, I've made, I made an entire video like that already before, and YouTube didn't even let me post it, it just, it got deleted instantly, so, I don't know, I might try to make a video like that sometime, and just like, make it as like a personal video, and like, I really want to make a video of like me going through my discover and just like see the new artists with you guys like react and like rate like artists that are in there i think that could be kind of funny um i really like that that could be a fun video nuggets always fail in the playoffs that's very true um but this year they have a fully healthy jamal murray and michael porter jr and their team looks pretty good so the last time we saw the nuggets at this strength they made it to the western conference finals so you know that's pretty good not gonna lie watch any college hockey <laughs> no i do not watch any college hockey what i do this weekend oh uh, lucas i actually filmed my uh asmr at the zoo video which
page, by the way. Yes, there will be a ASMR video at the zoo sometime this week. I don't know what day I want to post it because I want it to be a, I want it to be a very special video. I want the video to be as good as it can be. I want to give it its best shot and potential. So, I actually was thinking about posting it tomorrow, but I don't think I will. I'll probably just post like a rando, 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 rando video tomorrow. And then we'll just have to see when I post it. Some people uh, in the chat have already said like maybe wait till like the weekend-ish, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which I think is probably a good idea. Um, but yeah, Hornets winning it all, maybe one of these days. Do you guys think it'd be a good idea for the NBA to do a March Madness style playoffs like like every team in the NBA is in the playoffs but like if you're like I don't know I don't know how they would do it like a March Madness NBA I don't know if I'd do single game eliminations but like say they cut the NBA season from like 82 games to like 72 games or like 65 games and then at the end of the year they did like a big March Madness bracket that could be kind of fun <laughs> that's like a very like NBA 2K type of thing to do oh there, that's right there aren't enough teams right is there not enough teams I don't think there is yeah that's right that would be complicated they would have to find like uh, like an even ground too they couldn't just have like flying across the country to like play against each other that would be that would be kind of tough to do uh, in my head in in, in, uh, in, uh, in an alternate universe in reality that would be a very fun idea um, oh yo calfex 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 thank you thank you thank you super nice of you. You've been in the live streams for, for a, a very, very, very long time, and you've always been so generous. Um, I cannot thank you enough. You should definitely, like, send me uh, an email sometime. I, I would very much uh, appreciate that a lot. Um, because, yeah, like I said, you've been in the live streams for a, a pretty long time, so I appreciate it a lot. You and, like, obviously, like, Flame Point Pickle, you guys, uh, I don't want to say carry the live streams, but you guys have just been making live streams, um, pretty wild honestly it's it's super nice of you uh what are your top five favorite nfl teams i go for the bills Bengals, chiefs pats chargers interesting um much deserved i don't deserve any donations um that's for sure um obviously they're nice obviously they're good incentives <laughs> i guess but like i I don't deserve anything. I was just thinking about that the other day. It's crazy. Like, it's so crazy thinking about, like, years ago. Like, <laughs> it still boggles my mind that years ago, never would have thought that, like, this, whatever this, whatever this is, um, never would have expected this to happen, like, at all. It's crazy. Like, it's actually crazy. I can't even think about it for that long because I just, uh, man, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, NFL, NFL. Um, definitely like the Chargers, the Rams, the Seahawks for sure. Um, and then after that, it gets kind of like meh, like iffy. Like, I think the Bengals are cool. Sorry, I can't find my neighbors upstairs. They are just absolute rascals upstairs they are crazy um i think the Bengals are cool i like their jerseys joe burrow is pretty fun to watch that team is very fun to watch they're young they're exciting um and then after that like i don't really have a team really um i'm not even i'm not even really sure um maybe uh 
Las Vegas was, was fun when I went and I drove by the, uh, the Raider Stadium and it looked pretty cool. So maybe then, uh, I'm not sure. How are your top five teams in the same division? Well, uh, RE track. I'm not like a, like a rivalry person. Like I love the Blazers, but I also love the Lakers. Um, I think the Clippers are a cool team too. Like I'm not like super like, oh, I like this team. So I have to hate this team. I think hating, disliking teams and, and players is like a weird like thing. <laughs> if like, if you actually hate a team, um, I don't know. That's kind of crazy to think about. Anyways, um, what I got going to the Super Bowl this year? I don't know. I mean, the Bengals are, are I've already stated, like, are already like a young team, exciting to watch. They'll probably only get better over time. Um, but, like, the Chiefs are the Chiefs, and they're probably going to make a run back for it. Um, they definitely have a good shot. Um, for the NFC, the NFC, I still feel like, is pretty wide open. I think that, I mean, I wish the Eagles would have maybe done a little bit more in free agency, uh, maybe during the maybe during the draft of, like, their trade, their pick, or they'll get someone really good in the draft this year because they have a pretty good pick this year, even already being a pretty good team. But I kind of would have wished they would have done a little bit more in free agency. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about the NFC. Uh, who's the GOAT in the NBA? That's uh, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. But LeBron is the best. I think he's the best, most talented player. Uh, Joseph Son, what's up, what's up, what's up? Bucks in the final, I think. I don't want to say the Bucks are a lock for the Eastern Conference Final, but I think they are. I think it's going to be up between the Sixers and the Celtics for sure for the uh, the other, the other, the other, the other, the other spot in the East. Um, that's going to be whew, man, really tough. And then, of course, like the Cavs are going to be in there as well, which maybe they have a fighting shot, but uh, yeah. I think the Bucks are almost a lock for the Eastern Conference Finals. Then you have the Celtics and the Sixers, however they match up against each other. But uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to watch to see who's the odd man out. I mean, geez, even the Sixers could the Sixers could lose in the first round of the playoffs. Like that's how like iffy I am about the Sixers. But I do still like the Sixers have a great chance if if they're playing their best. I mean, the Sixers have the best shot at making the finals, but that's a very iffy, 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 iffy conversation, you know? Uh, Cadence, I, Cadence, I actually just, like, answered that question, like, two minutes ago, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, the, um, what team exactly? I'd probably say, oh, the NHL. Oh, duh. I, that's my fault. I read that as NFL, NHL. Um, no, I only watch a lot of NHL. Uh, my dad uh, was a huge, 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 huge uh, Kings fan growing up. He was even a more, like, NHL hockey was like my dad's favorite, favorite, favorite sport over anything. Uh, football, professional basketball. He really loved hockey. Um, so he's a big Kings fan, so I guess I've always been, like, around Kings stuff, so I do like the Kings, of course, but, uh, I mean, ever since even going to the Las Vegas, uh, Golden Knights game, like, that was just, like, such a fun trip and experience, like, I think, I like the Golden Knights for sure, team, I, I think I'm gonna be watching, I guess, even though I still don't even watch a lot of NHL, um, and then, uh, Seattle just got a team, the Kraken, and I've watched, like, a game, ish um a couple games maybe of them and they're they're a fun team too and uh yeah but probably still the the kings and then you probably like the golden knights for sure uh chris says genuinely think dame will ever go um if if you know me i am uh not a big like complainer about portland um and the same thing wave and just retire a Portland Trailblazer. Cool. If Dame tomorrow says, um, trade me now, Portland, I hate you, um, let me go, and to this specific team, and blah, blah, blah. Cool. Like, I, I don't really care. What I think is really funny about that whole debate are people thinking that Dame is, like, held hostage by Portland. It's like a funny concept, like saying like, oh, Portland needs to let him leave. Portland needs to, to let him go, this and that. People don't like use their brain and they don't think that the NBA is the most player-led league of 
himself. If Dame wanted to be gone, he can be gone whenever he wants to be. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny when, when fans say that. Uh, favorite food? For sure, pizza. I love, 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 love pizza. I feel like pizza can be healthy. It can be unhealthy. You can have a, you can have a dessert pizza. Um, you can have thick crust, thin crust, uh, multiple amounts of cheeses and sauces and toppings. Why? 
XYZ player, but uh, again, I didn't really watch a lot of baseball growing up. Um, but yeah, probably Mike Trout, I'd probably have to say. Um, if Dame does go to the Nuggets, it's a wrap for the rest of the league. Yeah, that'd be pretty crazy. Like, if Dame gets traded to Denver, and obviously, like, if Dame's getting traded to Denver to win a title, I mean, you're not, it's not like Portland's going to get a lot back in that package, and they're just going to get, like, a lot of draft picks. So, like, Michael Porter Jr. would still be there. Aaron Gordon will still be there. Um, they would just have to find someone to play the two-card spot, and then you have Dame and Jokic. So, like, that's a, that's a crazy starting lineup. And, uh, yeah, Mike Malone is, is a really great coach. That, that team is already, like, a great atmosphere. Um, yeah, I feel like that'd be a good spot for, for Dame to go if he did ever want to leave, which, again, if he doesn't, cool. If he doesn't, cool. Curtis uh, Granderson. I have no idea who that is, but uh, what position did Curtis play? One thing I'm also getting very much more into is the NBA draft. I'm actually super excited about this year's NBA draft. Obviously getting to watch a lot more of like the young um, college players like uh, Brandon Miller from Alabama. Wow, what a player. He looks like he is, uh, he might be like the next like Paul George. Like he's like 6'9", like 220-ish. Like he can shoot, he's super athletic, he can rebound. Like that guy, it, it, he looks pretty legit. I mean, of course, you already have like, obviously like Victor Wembanyama, And then you have like Scoot Anderson who almost looks like a, a carbon copy of like Anthony Edwards. Um, Brandon Miller looks really good. Um, you have that one power forward from Houston. Oh, I forget his name. He also looks pretty raw, like athletically, very talented looking player. Oh man, this year's draft is going to be pretty stacked. Oh, he played center field. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sorry, uh, how long are you going to be live for? Probably like another hour, hour and a half. We'll have to see. Uh, as you guys know, which, by the way, if you guys are just getting into tonight's live stream, make sure you guys like, 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 tonight's live stream. Make sure you guys like the live stream. All you have to do is close out of the chat. Click that little like button. It doesn't do anything for you, but it does a lot for the video during the live and after the live is done. It really does a lot to help out. So if you haven't liked it, I would very much appreciate it. And also, Obviously, like, if you guys are, like, having good conversations, you know, obviously, like, donating helps, too. It kind of depends on, like, how long I stay alive or if you guys are interacting. I'm interacting with you guys for however long you guys want to be live. Um, Brett Gardner. Now, that's also a name that sounds fairly familiar. Oh, what's up, Emery's? What's up? 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 Just liked it. Good job, Yao Ming. Great job. <laughs> I'm sad as fuck right now, what should I do? Um, definitely, definitely do something you like, even if it's something very small, like, uh, watching TV, watching a movie, playing a video game, um, having a nice little quick snack, um, uh, even just going out for a little bit, that's actually what I do, whenever I feel down, I do something small, but something that I really, 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 really liked to do, um, that's actually a good thing try. Sorry about that. Will you ever stream on Fridays? Um, maybe. Um, I, obviously I know that Fridays, either people are, sorry about that, people are either extremely busy or they have nothing going on and it's kind of hard to find a, a medium of people who are, you know, have not a lot going on to so where people will show up on a Friday night, which obviously again, a lot of people usually have stuff going on on Friday nights. Which is also kind of why I don't want to do, like, weekend night streams. Because, again, people are doing stuff on, on weekends. Um, so, that's why I kind of stay, stay away a little bit from, from weekend uh, streams, you know. Hakeem Olajuwon. Okay. <laughs> What's your team for March Madness? Uh, I... I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm think I'm sticking with Alabama. Uh, I don't want to say they have a easy um, road. Definitely not. 
not saying that. Right now they are going up against uh, San Diego State for their next game, which that's going to be tough. Uh, I do think Alabama will win, but because obviously San Diego State, great defensive team, but they also have to put up, like, they have to score, and I don't think they can have an amazing lockdown defensive game against Alabama, but then also score enough to keep up with that. I think, sure, it's going to be a low-scoring game for Alabama, but I think their their output will still be too much to handle, so I think Alabama will still win that game. Um, Creighton versus Princeton. I think I want to go Creighton. Princeton has had a good run. Crazy that they beat Missouri. That's obviously very good for them, but, like, Creighton is also a great offensive team, but I think I'm going to go with Creighton. Um, FAU and Tennessee. going to go with Tennessee. Uh, FAU, um, you know, they had a really good first game against Memphis, and then obviously going up against a 16 seed in their second round matchup probably heavily favors them for that one. But I think Tennessee is just a team that has, been, has played super, super, super tough talent uh, in their normal regular season. That I think they're they're up for that sort of that matchup and talent. You like UCLA going all the way? Yeah, I have uh, a bracket of uh, yeah, UCLA. I think I had I made three. I made one of Alabama winning it all, which is the one that you guys saw from my channel. I made one of Duke <laughs> winning it all because I kept seeing people pick Duke. And I thought, you know what? They are the hottest team in the country right now. I'll just make a bracket of them winning. Obviously, it was very dumb. And then I made a third bracket of UConn winning it all. So I got either Alabama or I got UConn. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What's a country that you've never been to that you'd love to travel to in the future? Um, I feel like I talk about this a lot in, in my live streams, but man, Italy. I want to go to Italy. Italy, 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 Italy. So bad. You guys have no idea how bad. Uh, I would love, 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 love to go to Italy. I love the food. I love the culture, the architecture how the cities look, um, man, I would love to go to Italy, um, obviously that's very expensive, and I would at least like to go sometime in my early-ish youth, <laughs> but, uh, that's definitely, like, my number one place, and obviously, like, the other places that everyone wants to go to, like, uh, Tokyo, uh, London would be sick, um, something like that, Gonzaga fan, love me some Gonzaga basketball. UConn is hot right now, so I'm going to stick with them. It's a good pick for sure. Texas. Texas does look really good as well. Um, Texas defensively is pretty insane. I obviously have them going up against Houston in the Final Four. Or whenever I think. No, that'd be the Elite Eight, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think that would be the Elite Eight. I think. I don't remember. Um, yeah. That's going to be a good matchup. Princeton and Creighton game would be great. Will it really, though? Will Princeton's run still last that long? I mean, if Princeton and Creighton played like tonight or tomorrow, I think yes. I think that would be a great matchup. But the fact that Creighton gets all these days off and also gets to study and really watch a Princeton team that they have never seen before and game plan around it, I think it really just only gives the S to Creighton. I mean, if I think the Princeton Cinderella story was really a, was really because no one really knew about them and what they could do, and like game planning and this and this and that. Now that there's going to be a scheme around them, like uh, it's really hard for upsets to happen now. I feel. Uh, do you think Arkansas has a chance of making the Final Four? Um, yeah, I think for sure. Um, it just comes down to defense for Arkansas, obviously. We saw it already in Kansas, and I think they can even make some more, you know, ruckus, 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 ruckus against other teams out there. Uh, it just comes down to their offensive efficiency, which uh, one of these games, <laughs> they might find some trouble in that, but as long as they stay consistent offensively while also playing this lockdown great defense, I think they can really upset any team, really. I think they can even upset, like, a Houston team even while doing that, but offensively, they need to pick it up a little bit. I have Creighton winning it all. That's a good pick, for sure. Um, yeah, Creighton versus um, Alabama would be crazy. Um, yeah, if Alabama just has, like, a bad 
that shooting night. I mean, that's going to be a, a hellish time for, for Alabama. You should do a fantasy draft video. Uh, like a, like a, like a,
comes out, but I, I, I don't even know if I'll play the newest 2K for my channel. That game is just... Um, uh, yeah, for sure, Yao Ming. Very happy that you're here. Shop. Oh, that, it's a strawberry key. That is the flavor. I didn't know it was a strawberry flavor before, but that's pretty cool. Um, how am I doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, I've already kind of talked about, like, I haven't been sleeping all that well. It's like my, I don't know, I've been feeling very off lately. Off, 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 off lately, like, physically. Um, but mentally, I feel pretty okay. Not very high very low, very in the middle, which is kind of the sweet spot of where I want to be. Um, yeah. Yo, what's up, Drake? Um, no, I haven't watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I've released like an episode or two. Um, a new FIFA video. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, maybe. When is like the newest FIFA game gonna come out? Is that, is that sometime soon? <laughs> Maybe I'll play the new, the newest FIFA game. That's FIFA is also like another game where it's like, eh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Um, I love doing the, the the fucked, fucked, fucked F U D, the ultimate team drafts. That's always like super fun to do. Uh, extremely fun to do. That's the most funnest thing to do on FIFA. Um, but uh, maybe one of these days. September, bro, that's forever from now, man. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, who's your MVP this year? Um, either Giannis or Joel Embiid, one of those two. Joel Embiid has been looking pretty great as of recently. You can definitely tell he's trying with all of his heart and soul to win MVP this year. And I know, you know what, I think he does deserve at least an MVP at some point in time in his career. He's always been sort of very much compared to Shaquille O'Neal and being the most dominant big man in the NBA since Shaq. Um, he's pretty great, so I think Joel Embiid has a, a pretty good case. Favorite hip-hop artist? That's also very tough. Um, yeah, I've always been a big fan of like Mac Miller, um, Chance the Rapper back in the day, Post Malone's a great one. Obviously, like, the, the OGs, like, Drake, Kanye, Kendrick, Jay-Z, all very great. Kind of a hot take. I was never really the biggest fan of uh, Lil Wayne, even, like, back in the day when he was, like, really making the hits, like, back in, like, the early 2000s. Never really was the biggest fan of, of Lil Wayne. <laughs> Do a FIFA career mode? Definitely not. Definitely not doing that. No offense. Uh, Siri never do well on my channel. I can, I can never, ever, 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 ever make a series on my channel. Someone also earlier was talking about when is the next time I'm making a cooking video. And that is also a series that I think I'm going to um, put an put end to. Um, those cooking videos take so much time and effort and energy to make. And it just seems like people aren't really interested in them a lot. So that's probably another series I'm probably going to stop doing as well. Uh, I think they're fun. I love doing them. I love cooking. I do it every day for myself. I like to think I'm pretty okay at it too. So they're like a fun video to make, but like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's very appealing to a lot of other people. Uh, favorite non-sports game, uh, BC Productions. Even if you would have asked me what my favorite video is I wouldn't have said a sports game, um, believe it or not. I do not like sports that much. I'm not that, uh, <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Uh, my favorite game of all time. Um, I think for sure Kingdom Hearts, the series, or to be more specific, Kingdom Hearts 2 for sure. Um, love Kingdom Hearts 2. That game is nostalgic. It still holds up to this day. One of the greatest RPG games of all time, in my opinion. It's one of the greatest um, I love the story of Kingdom Hearts. I think it's great. Obviously, it includes my favorite thing as well in Disney, <laughs> so that's really cool. Um, other than that, um, Assassin's Creed is great. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2, or even the first Red Dead Redemption, I, I wish I could like replay those. 
those games over without knowing anything again. The, those games are insane. Um, trying to think of exciting new ones. I don't know. But the last really good game I played was actually Hogwarts Legacy, that Harry Potter video game. That was really good. That was actually, as of right now, my favorite game since probably um, God of War Ragnarok. And even before then, it's probably like one of my favorite games I've ever played exclusively just on the PS5. It's one of the best games I think I've played on PS5, so that's a good one as well. <laughs> Am I going to any concerts? Um, concerts? No. Um, I wanted to go to Post Malone back a couple months ago, but like the tickets were super expensive, and I was looking into buying Drake 21 Savage tickets because they just announced their tour. And oh my God, if you want to spend $600 for <laughs> some nosebleed seats, um, that's what it's going to have to take. Apparently, like, dude, those tickets are like five, $600. <sighs> so, I don't know. I'll have to see. video that could be pretty good the last tier list video I did was a I think it was a basketball related one like a handful of months ago I might do a tier list video I'm trying to think of like what I can do for one I could do like a drinking like an alcoholic beverage tier list video that could be kind of fun I like to think I've, I've tried a pretty diverse amount of alcoholic beverages. Oh, someone, by the way, asked if I was a more of a light beer or a dark beer enjoyer. Definitely a light beer. Not a big fan of like, like even like Guinness. I hate Guinness. I had Guinness one time and it was just, it's so bad. I hate like darker beers like that. It's just, uh, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I think the 1,476th person to ask me to do a IRL basketball video. Yes, I know. When it's not 40 degrees outside and when it's not pouring rain every single day, I'll give it a shot. How about that? <laughs> um, hello, other Lucas. Yo, what's up, Aiden? What's up, what's up, what's up? Um, tickets are going for 800 to 1000 Yeah, I was looking at the Seattle days, and I actually looked at it the first, like, day they came out, and they obviously sold out super fast, so I couldn't even get into, like, the initial, like, buy-in of the tickets, but I'm sure the resale are just stupid, crazy expensive, which I also don't know. Seattle, which is like, a, that's a small arena, like, no doubt the tickets are going to be stupidly expensive when they're only going to, like, smaller arenas, I'm surprised they're not, they're not, like, going for, like, Safeco Field, or, I don't know, the Seattle Seahawks football stadium, like, they could easily pretty much almost sell out that place, but, like, they're going to, like, a 15 to 10,000 seated arena, like, I don't know, that's... Aces Pineapple Cider. I've had that. Wow, I thought that was like a local thing. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I love cider. I actually had, <laughs> after filming my uh, ASMR at the zoo video, I actually had uh, lunch at a place that I love in Portland, and they have a great cider there. It, it's like a, it's like, I think it's a home brewed, maybe, I think it is, but it's a, it's a, um, it was a beach, 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 beach. Cider. Ooh, so good. What's going on? I'm just sitting here live streaming for you guys. That's what is going on. Um, Princeton National Champs confirmed if Princeton wins the national championship, what would I do? Um, I'll stick a used sock in my mouth. How about that? <laughs> no, I won't, but uh, that'd be pretty crazy. If 
out of the world of baseball classic. Um, I have been watching a lot of it. Um, I haven't been watching a lot of it. I've watched like a couple innings of a couple games. I haven't really like actually sat down and watched a game. I've seen like some highlights and stuff, but that's really about it. Um, someone asked me if I'm doing a NBA bracket video. And I almost, I almost did the thing that people commented on the video about. If you guys go to my March Madness video, my bracket making video, <laughs> there's people in the comments of that video, like three or four people are like, uh, Jake Baller, you said you weren't going to make this video. You said on your live stream that you weren't doing a March Madness bracket making video. <laughs> I would hope that you guys who have been watching me for a while know I'm like a very sarcastic person. So if you guys watched my last live stream, I said, oh, I wasn't going to do a March Madness bracket making video. Obviously being very sarcastic about it. And I thought that was super funny that people commented saying that, wait, you said you weren't going to do this. Of course I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, and of course I'm going to be making a, a, an NBA playoff video for sure. When, when, it, when it gets closer to the playoffs, I'll definitely do it now. What's my death row meal? That's a good question, actually. Uh, yeah, I have brothers. Uh, how's your bracket? Um, it's mid. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. It's very average. Um, the last ASMR video you watched... Um, I actually don't remember. I don't, think, I don't think I watched one last night going to bed because I fell asleep watching something else. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe like Bees ASMR, or maybe like Maddie Tingles, something like that. I don't remember. It was a couple, that's like a day, day and a half ago. Those goofies, yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, my death row meal though. Oh my God. That's tough. That's actually really tough. Like, I don't just want to be like, oh, I want uh, in and out or something like that. I don't know what I would even choose. Maybe something to do with a pizza. If I could get like uh, the best pizza in the world uh, flown out to me, <laughs> I would do it. But if it had to be like like a, a fast food chain type of thing, like I guess like Domino's, <laughs> I don't know, like a, a pizza, something like that. I would love like a nice wood fire, like a very Italian style, like margarita pizza. Those are my favorite, like the floppy kind of pizzas, like the like the like the legit style pizzas. I love those; those are amazing. Um, and then probably like fries from anywhere, really. Fries, maybe like some cut fruit. And uh, can you get like drinks? <laughs> Will they give you drinks on death row and stuff? I actually have no idea. I would have no idea where I would get a tattoo. That's why I don't have a tattoo, because I can't think of an idea of getting a tattoo. Thoughts on Randall dropping 57 and losing. I like how you put and losing after that. That's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> uh, it's cool. Yeah, Julian Randall's definitely having a good little like comeback season, if you want to call it a comeback season. Um, and he's been looking amazing. He's definitely... I want to say solidified his name as a, a an all NBA player, but he's definitely going to be in the running to make another all NBA team this year, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, they lost today, so <laughs> that's pretty sad. Yeah, I love margarita pizzas. I love like the very like classic Italian like wood fire pizzas. Those are just like they have like little like balls of like mozzarella. Maybe they'll throw like like a spinach leave some spinach in there like I love I love pizzas like that a lot <laughs> you and a Matthew things or Maddie should collab Matthew things that name sounds really familiar um, but Maddie Maddie would be cool uh, I don't think he ever will because he's uh, 10 million miles uh, ahead of me <laughs> when it comes to talent and subscribers and everything so um, he would really have to uh, like me a lot if
if he would really want to do a collab with me, but he obviously is a, another um, Pacific Northwest Portland content creator, which is dope. He also really likes basketball, which is dope, but uh, those are the only two things we have in common, I guess. Or I guess three. We like ASMR. Sucking. Um, yeah, man, this year <laughs> the 
issue didn't go as planned. Uh, of course, the Portland roster just wasn't that good. But uh, injuries also hurt a lot. People don't really understand that Portland had, like, at every single point in time in the season, besides the start of the year, which Portland was, like, a top four seed the entire time, um, they either had, like, two to three, like, one to two starters injured the entire year. Like, throughout the entire year besides like maybe a month they had at least a starter or two injured the entire time um which is really bad um obviously Yusuf Nurkic missed like more than half the year Anthony Simons was out Jeremy Grant's out now Dame has been out for a little bit too um on and off and then the bench is dog duty you know your team is really bad when uh Shaden Sharp a rookie is the first man off your bench. Like, that's when you know your team is really, really bad. Um, so, yeah, the team just wasn't put together that much. So, we, 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 we have the sixth right... Oh, they they right now have the sixth best odds for getting Victor Wembenyana. And could you imagine Victor Wembenyana as a Portland Trailblazer? That's pretty insane. seltzer light alcohol drink um i mean honestly these um spiked simply lemonades have been pretty delicious 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 not gonna lie they've been pretty good pretty 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 good pretty good pretty good um i don't know that's really tough that is really tough i don't i don't drink that often so like i don't have like a for sure um answer for that but these have been pretty good i don't want to say they're my favorite yet but they're pretty darn good um yeah alex a lot of people have asked before about why i don't use the black microphone anymore which by the way where even is that oh it's actually right here anymore um for asmr live streams i've used it two times before and both times it's actually just stopped working during the live streams it will just turn off for no reason um and it will just go kaput so we don't use it during live streams and then for normal videos it just at least in my opinion doesn't sound that good it, it picks up too much white noise and background noise now there are actually um internal settings you can change to stop that from happening but you need like a computer to change those settings so obviously i don't have one so i can't really do anything about it yet um whenever i do we'll be using it a lot more because i think it does have potential to sound absolutely amazing but just my opinion i think um it doesn't sound um as good you know what i mean golf handicap i know what that means but i also do not know what that means <laughs> i don't play like regular i've never i think i've only golfed one or two times ever in my life but i love top golf top golf is very fun and i'm also not that bad at mini golf so
Jake and all of those, uh, yeah, the dating app videos, those are pretty fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like them too, but like, ugh. like, I'm not gonna lie. I hate, and I don't use that word a lot. I hate the sort of like attention I guess it gets sometimes where people like, I don't know. Obviously this, this channel is like, I think right now, I think 80 to like 85% male, which is fine. It used to be worse. It used to be like 90 to 95% male, which is I guess also okay. But like some dudes out there are super weird when it comes to girls and they are super um, objectifying and they are very weird when it comes to, to females. So uh, even sometimes whenever I like interact with like a female ASM artist or even when it's like say someone's like even in the chat, they get very weird. And I hate that a lot. And I usually like just ban those people. So they bring a lot of it, uh, of, of those type of people, which is annoying, but I think they're fun to do. They're entertaining. They're like whatever videos, but like, I don't want to do those like all the time. You know what I mean? Cause they definitely bring in a weird audience. Um, Noah, uh, you do not have to spam the chat, my guy. Do not spam the chat, dude. Chill out. Uh, how do I feel about the Knicks? The Knicks are good. Uh, excited to see them in the playoffs. I think they will probably play the Cavaliers in the first round, which they have a pretty good shot at, um, beating the Cavaliers. I'm pretty excited about that, so, um, yeah. I think they're a second round out, though. I don't think they'll get, they can beat the Knicks or the Celtics. Well, maybe the Celtics, but... I mean, the Knicks, I mean, the 76ers or the Celtics. That's going to be kind of a, a tough outing for them. Yo, what's up, Eddie? Top five and bottom NBA teams. That's actually kind of interesting. Thoughts on the Kentucky game? Yeah, Kentucky just... Uh, Kentucky just wasn't like a... Like a there weren't the, the, the normal, obvious, dominant Kentucky team, so it's kind of hard for them to sort of have a crazy outing, and Kansas State were just a mystery team pretty much this entire bracket um they could have either been a first round outing honestly or they could be a team that could make it all the way to the final four like they definitely have that side that type of potential so like i don't know i think kentucky just had a bad game and they just lost should they have won probably but it's a pretty tough game against kansas state uh yo what's up g man what's up you guys you guys know that mondays are definitely a nice little little palate cleanser for me obviously doing a youtube channel yeah i guess you want to call it that uh it kind of sucks having to like having to like go over everything like talk out through processes and stuff like that to myself which i do do i know that probably sounds crazy but i do talk it over with myself about what i want to do what i think you guys want to see and blah 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 but it's really cool to just to come on here on Mondays and like, you know, not only give some support, but like, um, you know, feedback, entertainment, hopefully some relaxation for you guys, even though it's loud, <laughs> you know, the car is driving by, my neighbor's upstairs, blah, blah, blah. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming here for Monday nights because at least for me, I, I love them. I, I think they're enjoyable and um, they're every single Monday. So uh, thank you so much, James. Uh, more people get in here as it gets later. Um, this is actually like, well, do I want to say this? Uh, I'll say it. this is actually like one of like the, the, the least, I'll say it in like this way, the least amount of people I've ever had in a live stream this late, which is fine. Which is fine. Like I said before, this is like a more like a low key stream. Obviously not every Monday night is going to be crazy. Obviously I've had nights where there's like 200 plus people in here. Um, this is just a normal, this is just a very uh, low-key day for a live stream, which is fine. Um, would you collab with a fan? Um, I don't think I'd ever, like, do, like, a collab with a fan, but... I have been thinking about doing, maybe for, like, the 25k subscriber, 
like special video, I was actually thinking about doing a, um, my subscribers do slash try ASMR video. If you guys don't know, that's kind of like a, a trend on uh, YouTube for the ASMR community where people have their communities do like a one minute to like five minute uh, ASMR video of themselves doing ASMR and they do like a big stockpile of videos and it's uh, on my subscribers do ASMR video and I was thinking about maybe doing that for the 25k video uh, where you guys submit your own videos of doing ASMR whether it's you know a whisper ramble whether it's doing triggers whether it's anything really um although that could be that could be maybe a pretty fun video or you can just do like another like Q&A which I guess could also be pretty fun to do on the kings uh the kings are pretty fun for sure for sure um the kings have probably been like the team i probably watched the most this year since the players haven't been doing all that well uh i love demonda sabonis love De'Aaron fox i'm very scared about who they face though in the playoffs if they face the warriors or the lakers that's very terrifying in my opinion but i think they could probably win out on either one but uh Sheesh, that's going to be pretty interesting. I like the idea. Yeah, I think it could be kind of cool. I, I don't know um, how many people would, you know, do that video. I don't know how many people would submit, I guess, themselves doing ASMR. Obviously, you know, you guys wouldn't need to, um, how do I say this? like show your faces or like do anything like that i obviously wouldn't like tag names and stuff like that so uh you know i think it could be a fun idea <laughs> light the beam light the beam yeah it sucks too because like i just went to well i don't want to say i just went to but i went to a, a sacramento kings game i drove down and went to one um a couple years ago when they were sucking and i wish I wish I could go to a Kings game now, man. Uh, the atmosphere is probably super dope, super amazing. Um, I kind of want to go down and go to another game. Yo, 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 yo. That's actually, oh, man, that's crazy. Quincy, 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 Quincy. That's honestly super nice of you. Um, <laughs> like literally every single Monday, Quincy, you are uh, insane. You need, you need to take a Monday off, I feel like. Um, he says, Jake, my boy, glad I can make it to the Monday night live stream. Just because a killer workout. Uh, what did you work out? Let me know. Give me some inspiration to work out. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, Quincy. Thank you so much. That's super nice of you. Um, favorite NHL team? Um, yeah, we're kind of just talking about this. Um, I guess the Kings, because again, my dad's favorite team is the Kings. So growing up, obviously, with him, watching and doing a lot of Kings stuff. And then I think for sure the Las Vegas Knights, since going to their arena and going to a game live, um, kind of won me over. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, probably the Kings are, or the Golden Knights. Going to bed, yeah, for sure. Good night, Sean, for sure. Good night, good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Um, I was actually thinking about kind of calling it since Quincy just uh, did a little dono, I think I'm gonna stay on for a little bit longer. So shout out to shout out to Quincy. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, for sure you can email me. Yeah, it's just I think my email is actually just in the description of this live stream. So just uh, go ahead and email me. It's down there. Headed to PN uh, PDX. Yeah. Um. I mean, obviously there's not a lot to do out here, but uh, I think for sure eating, eating is like the best thing you can do. Obviously, besides like hiking, if you like, if you like like scenery, obviously a lot of that to do around here as well. But yeah, people always talk about the food being amazing up here, which I will also stand by. Portland has some of the best, uh, some of the best food out here. Um, do I work out? Um, yes, kind of. I only really do like 
a lot of, um, I forget what the term is for working out, but like when you use a lot of like body weight, like uh, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, crunches, that kind of stuff, like running, I forget what that, that sort of term is, but I do a lot of that. My gym um, closed down during COVID, so my closest one, I guess, closed down during COVID, so I have to find a new gym to go to, so that's tough, especially now it being even further away, which is even a more of an excuse to not go. Um, it's uh, it's pretty bad, so I'll have to figure it out. Um, been subbed since you've had 2K on ASM Baller. I doubt it, Koozie. Wait, Koozie. Why does that name, that when I looked at your name, for some reason it kind of like uh, spawned something in my head. I kind of, uh, I feel like I remember your name, but that's really cool. Yeah, ASM Baller days, man. What a time. Um, yeah, David, I read your your last message, and uh, for sure, super excited to, to watch some Arkansas baseball. <laughs> college baseball. I don't think I've ever watched a college baseball game before, so that should be pretty cool. Um, cal calisthenics. Maybe that is what it's called. Sounds familiar. Um, double the viewers. Yeah, we're just chilling. Like I said, this live stream already wasn't planning to have like a killer live stream, but I'm very, very, very happy about the people that are here, people who have been here, people who are still sticking around. Um, again, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like, 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 tonight's live stream. All you gotta do is close the chat and click the little like button. It does a lot for the video. For during the live stream and also after the live stream, is posted, I would very, 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 very much appreciate it. I also have the burp. Oh, man. <laughs> um, but that's crazy. You've been around since 2K on ASM Baller. Like, I only know, like, literally, I actually talked about it earlier in the live stream. I think I only know, like, maybe, like, four or five people who have been around since that long, which is pretty crazy. Um, why do you think, why do you think about everyone saying the Kings are an easy first round matchup? Um, I know I kind of said that they were, I, well, I said they, were, they could be a first round upset, which I do think they can be. Um, I think of all the teams, they are just because they're the new team on the block. And when you're the new team on the block, who are kind of over succeeding, which we all know the Kings are over succeeding this year. You're going to get questioned, and obviously, if they do face two title-winning teams over the past three years when it comes to the Golden State Warriors and the LA Lakers, yeah, you're, you're going to get questioned a lot. Now, could they win? Yes. Could they sweep? Maybe. But are they going to win those series? Probably yes, but they are the biggest upset uh, potential that we have right now, I feel like, in, in the West. Just because they are a new team, they still have a, young, a lot of young players, a lot of young players who have never been in the playoffs before, so. <sighs> Just kind of, kind of have to go with it, you know what I mean? Um, this is actually the first time listening to your ASMR, and I'm really relaxing. New sub. Uh, thank you so much, Audrey. That's super nice. Um, it is super weird that uh, YouTube live streaming is sort of like a, it's sort of like a new thing. A lot, a lot of people really look out for it. And, you know, I know this channel may look like a very heavily sports related channel. It's not, it's really not. Um, I promise you, if you look at my channel, I have more not sports related stuff than sports related stuff. So if it's not really your forte, there's a lot to, there's a lot compacted in this channel. So hopefully you do stick around. I'd really much appreciate that. Uh, I did watch the Arkansas-Kansas game. Uh, I was watching it after I went to the zoo to film my uh, IRL ASMR zoo video. Um, I went and had lunch and I watched the game. Um, and that was a good game, for sure. And I told you, David, you're welcome. You are welcome, David, that I did not pick Arkansas to win in their first round matchup because I knew if I started talking good about Arkansas, they would have lost because 
I have bad luck, so. <laughs> um, uh, you probably don't know me, but I watched Debut Kid in 2020. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's super crazy to still think about uh, those days on my channel when I used to just post <laughs> basketball content every single day. I don't know how I did it. And that's maybe also kind of why I... I don't really like look forward to making basketball content all that much anymore. Like back in the day, I used to make basketball videos every single day, and oh man, it used to be a, it used to be a lot. So uh, it's definitely definitely pretty nice, you know. I I do, David. I do have Arkansas losing against UConn. I actually have a third bracket. I I made three brackets uh, for this year's tournament. In my third bracket I made, I have UConn winning the entire thing. So I am, in fact, definitely uh, betting against Arkansas again. Uh, favorite rapper of all time. Ooh, all time. God. Um, probably Drake. Is that is that sleazy? Is that stupid? Drake. I really like Drake. <laughs> Honestly, I was back, back in my middle school days bumping Drake. <laughs> uh, something about sports talk relaxes me. sick. Thank you so much, Aubrey, for, for sticking around. And I don't know what you're holding, but you're holding like an animal. I'm assuming it's a dog. Very cute little uh, profile picture there. Yeah, the zoo video should be pretty cool. I'm very excited about it. I think it might be sometime later this week, like during the weekend-ish, because again, I really am liking what I'm editing, and I think it could really be like one of, like one of the state on the channel, like I'm not getting, oh, I think my neighbors upstairs are doing their laundry right now, sorry about that, I think it's a little loud for a second, uh, I think it could be like a, like a staple of the channel for, for a video, and I really hope it does well, so I'm gonna wait for like a good, 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 good day for it to, uh, it to be posted, so yeah, uh, my very current ASMR YouTuber, I only know, I have favorites, I don't have a favorite, but like obviously like Dido, Bees, Maddie Dingles, Ryan ASMR, um, any other ones, um, Cherry ASMR, she was in my last, uh, video talking about my favorite ASMR channels, if you're into gaming, Cherry, which she spells Cherry in like a weird way, I think that's how you pronounce her name, her channel name anyways, uh, if you like gaming videos, she has a great, great gaming channel for ASMR, um, it's awesome for sure. My dog wearing a Chiefs jersey. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Howard is a sports fan. Howard, that's a very <laughs> Howard is a very cute name for a dog. Yeah, Chiefs are great. Uh, my mom actually lives in Kansas City, so I'm thinking maybe next football season I might go to a, a Chiefs football game. Um, that could be pretty fun. I'm actually planning on seeing my mom sometime soon in the next couple weeks, or maybe in the next couple months. I have to get with her. And I might be going to a, a Royals game, a Kansas City Royals game. When I'm out there, that could be pretty fun. Um, uh, Sufficient Whispers, yeah, I actually commented uh, on uh, Sufficient Whispers' uh, most recent video because he was talking about college basketball, um, which is pretty cool. Really big fan of his. Have you ever thought about updating your profile picture? <laughs> I, uh, I might think about it, uh, obviously with YouTube, um, you, you as a viewer, you right now, you watching this video right now, are, you guys see my profile picture and you think of my channel, you even look at the colors of my profile picture and you think of my channel, I don't want to change that and have you guys sort of like re-think about my channel, you know what I mean, like you think about channels that are you know, seven, eight, nine, ten plus years old have never changed their profile picture ever. And I think I might be the same way. I don't know if I'll ever change it or at least sometime soon. I don't know, but uh, I have to think about it. Um, thoughts on the New York Rangers? Um, 
that is the hockey team, right? I don't know. I, I don't watch NHL hockey to really think about the Rangers all that much, but that's they're like a, they're like a classic NHL team, I think, right? Um, love Royals games. Do they have good food? Do they have good food at Royal at the Royal Stadium? If they don't have good food, I'm not gonna have a good time because my favorite thing to do at baseball stadiums is eat and drink. So. <laughs> in their division. I know the Packers are in their division, right? I think, right? And then, like, the Bears, right? And then, maybe the Vikings are as well. I don't remember. That, that's a tough division if that's true or not, but uh, I've been here since 2019. Ain't no way you've been around since 2019, Lewis. That's pretty wild. That's a very long time. I appreciate it. If that's not a lie, I very much do appreciate it a lot, a lot, a lot. As a Bears fan, I've never been more excited about the season to start. Yeah, Bears, pretty sick. Bears, Packers, Vikings, Lions. Did I guess it right then? I don't remember the teams I said. That's pretty cool if I did guess it right. <laughs> uh, yes, the best food. I'm gluten-free. Gluten-free, come on. Gluten-free, no, I'm kidding. Um, that's sick. That's nice. Yeah, I love, uh, man, I, I don't watch a lot of baseball games, but I... Uh, I don't like to watch baseball games on TV, but I love going to baseball games, so I'll definitely have to do that. Um, do you think the Warriors are making the playoffs? I do, in fact, think the Warriors are making the playoffs. I think they'll probably be the eighth seed. Like I said, I think the well, I think they'll be anywhere from eight to six, um, and I think the Lakers will probably beat whoever is in that seventh seed spot in the playing games. So I think the Lakers will probably beat the seventh seed this year. So I'm very interested to see where the the Warriors will end up at. But they are obviously a very up and down team, as well as a lot of other teams out there. You know. Uh, Brazil. What about Brazil? I love Brazil. 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 says kings coming out of the west if the kings in their first year back in the playoffs make it to the nba finals i will drive to sacramento and i'll go to an nba finals game how about that if the kings make the nba finals i will drive like the oh yeah my neighbors upstairs are doing laundry right now <laughs> uh i'll drive to sacramento and i'll go to the nba finals for the kings <laughs> Uh, you posted a video talking about Bear ASMR, and she hasn't posted in three months. Um, yeah, I mean, that happens all the time. Um, not only in the YouTube scene, but man, in the ASMR community, there have been some amazing content creators who have just quit doing ASMR. And it's sad, but like, um, YouTube in general is a very weird thing. Um, obviously, like, creating content for people idea who they are and you know obviously she was a channel that grew to like 30 to 40 thousand subscribers in a span of like six months which i could not imagine growing that fast i don't know if she just got too busy or she got bored of it or maybe it just got too much and um even in my own sort of you know what i, I want to call it a career <laughs> um ASMR content people can be weird and I'm assuming for a, a girl doing ASMR it can be even more weird so I hope that she didn't just you know get too weirded out or anything like that hopefully she's just taking a break uh, Wiggins out with the family problems yeah I've heard a lot of things about the Andrew Wiggins thing apparently like the biggest um, rumor is that like his wife cheated on him which i think someone came out and said was false so i don't know uh what do you think of the rockets interesting i think the rockets are the charlotte hornets of the west 
best. I, I think they are a young team that can really either grow a lot with potential with great players or, like with Charlotte, can go downhill very fast. And, um, you know, I think they need to get a couple players in there to really glue this team together either way. Um, because if not, this team is going to go downhill very fast, like I just said. except the Blazers. Uh, yeah, for sure. The Lakers and the Kings have always been some of my favorite t teams uh, of all time, really. Really like watching both of them over the years. And then after that, um, yeah, I don't know. Like the Celtics are, are a fun team to watch. Oh, actually, the Magic, probably, probably the Magic. They're, they're like my favorite, like, bad NBA team. I love watching the Magic play. Um, obviously, not only because they're sponsored by Disney, and I love love Disney, um, you know, um, a Palabank girl is a great player, he's been really fun to watch this year, um, even in previous years, you know, watching, you know, Jalen Suggs and Mark Fultz and even when Vucevic was on the team, um, those were always fun teams, um, yeah, pretty fun team to watch, uh, she was in college and doing a lot of things, yeah, maybe, like I said, hopefully it's just, she's busy and I'm hoping it wasn't like the latter of what I said, you know, hopefully, because even with me, people have been very weird towards me, because, <laughs> you know, obviously, like, ASMR, um, ASMR is, like, a very personal thing, um, people can get kind of too caught up in it, I feel, people, it's a very personal, like, connection, obviously, you know, relaxing and sleeping and watching someone all the time, people can get kind of weird with it, so. sad. I kind of want to get another one. Ah, those are good. Those are, those are actually really good. Those might actually be my favorite, like, little, uh, little drink to have. <laughs> uh, who do you think the Blazers, who do you want the Blazers to take in the draft? Um, I hope they trade the pick, obviously, if, if Portland, you know, jumps to top four and it's not number one i hope they trade the pick if if the blazers don't have the number one pick this year i pray that they trade the pick for anyone you know again like jimmy butler pascal siakam um a disgruntled star somewhere randomly ass out i hope they trade the pick um if not of course like victor Wembanyama is is the guy the guy everyone wants for sure um who do you think is the best player in the NBA right now besides Giannis um I would probably have to say Nikola Jokic or Embiid or Luka <laughs> one of those guys um but Embiid right now is playing pretty pretty crazy um yeah, I think he probably will, may be at least MVP or maybe like the second and, and votes for MVP this year, so definitely, uh, definitely looking pretty good this year for, uh, for him, for Joel Embiid. Uh, again, make sure you guys are new to the live stream, new, 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 new. If you're new to the live stream, make sure you like, 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 like a live stream. Would very much, very much appreciate a like on the live stream. It's the best thing you can do for me, the channel, this video, and the YouTube algorithm, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> out a lot so make sure you guys like tonight's live stream for sure um i'm very happy that you guys were or i guess still are around for tonight's live stream tonight's live stream was definitely more of like a low-key live stream nothing really talking about very low-key even with like the view count and stuff it was very just chill for the people that were in here and uh i very much appreciate it so thank you guys so much for for sticking around you know uh yo what's up nate west do you think that Dynasty is over. Yes, I do think so. Um, do you watch any of the new Mandalorian? Yes, I actually need to watch the newest episode after I get off the live stream because I didn't watch the one from last Wednesday because I'm kind of busy. But I need to watch the uh, the latest video for them. For it, I should say. Uh, been around since before 
anxiety system the uh, system symptom my worst anxiety system system symptom symptom um yeah i obviously not i don't really like talking about that stuff on the live stream because obviously you know asmr uh definitely obviously mental health is very much attached to that and i always try to not sort of um throw it out at people a lot because usually people come to youtube not only just for asmr but also for all the content on youtube to try to get away from that kind of stuff, but um, I used to have really bad um, heart <laughs> problems, um, heart palpitations, chest pains. I used to get really bad anxiety and would literally feel like I was having a heart attack. So um, those haven't happened all that often much anymore. Um, but thankfully, I've been been able to help um, sort of get through that um, part of my life, which was really bad. And, um, yeah, that was pretty bad, but I'm a lot better now, which is great. I've been able to sort of, like, get through days like that a lot easier, just living with myself, living through feelings and understanding my feelings and myself a lot more just through age and time. And, uh, that's all it takes is, is, is being more time with yourself. Um, it's tough, but it, it, it's, it's okay. support in the Premier League. I don't really support a specific team, but uh, more or less just like uh, I, I support everyone, I guess. I haven't really found like a specific team to fully watch um, only because you know, um, again, it's hard to sort of just like sit down and like, oh, I like this team because of X, Y, Z reason. I kind of just watch the highlights and, and enjoy watching the sport, if that makes any sense. Um, Rockets are making the playoffs. You're funny. tickets to the Timbers. Yeah, I think the last time I was at a Portland Timbers game was, I think it might have been their first season ever. I went back when I was in middle school, so um, a long time ago. <laughs> so I think that was the last time I, I went to a game. So hopefully the stadium is better than when I remember it, but I'm assuming it has been since they've won like a title or two since then. Uh, you're not happy with life. You don't know what to do. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely just finding simple stuff to, to love in your life is super important when it comes to things like that. Doing um, stuff that you love and appreciating the small things in life. I know it's very stupid to say, but truly, and I've, I've, I, this is like one of like my life mottos in life that I stick by is being happy with being content, not always wishing, not always looking to wish, but to find the things that you are happy with and to be content about them. I feel like people, especially nowadays with the internet and social media, are always looking for what's next. And I feel like a lot of people don't look for what they have and to be truly appreciative of the life that they do have and to be truly content with that, whether it's relationships 
relationships or things that they have. Um, I feel like that's super important. But also, yeah, definitely finding new stuff to love, new hobbies to do, going out for a hike in nature, leaving your phone at home, um, truly being happy with not only yourself and, and being content with that and who you are, but just with other things in your life a- as well. So um, that's tough, but it, it, it's, you know, it's pretty rough. Boxing, boxing is pretty fun. Yeah, I actually just I I, I watched the uh, the John Jones fight. That was that was pretty fun. So true, the small things and gratitude. Yeah, um, it sucks, man. Especially in relationships, when it comes to finding a partner. Like, geez, man, <laughs> people are always searching for uh, what's what's better, what's better, what's better, and then even when it's not even with a relationship. Um, people in general are looking for the next best phone, the next best this, the next best that, and, uh, I don't know. It's very sad. It's very sad. Um, Liverpool and Man City are the best Premier League teams. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I know that for sure. Uh, what's up, Sully? What's up, what's up, Sully? Sully, Sully, Sully. What do you think Jimmy Butler is going to play next year? Um, either Miami, uh, obviously, he's on it still a very big contract with Miami, so he's probably going to stick around there. Or if he does get traded or bought out, um, dude, like every team in the NBA could use a Jimmy Butler. So like, that's that's a that's a tough that's a tough question for sure. Um, you know, some Joel, 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 Joel. What's up? Uh, do you follow the NHL? Um, not <laughs> that much. Um, um, oh, I just got like. for the NHL. Um, I have no idea. I guess I could like check the standings maybe. <laughs> uh, how come the Warriors went from defending champs to a play-in team? Well, even last year, the Warriors weren't really like a super dominant team. They just got good matchups last year, at least in my opinion, no offense to, to, the, to the Golden State Warriors. I think last year, um, they had a pretty easy outing I think this year, if they get good matchups again, they could make it pretty far, but uh, they, they're just older. They don't have the depth that they used to have. Andrew Wiggins has also been in and out of the lineup. Steph Curry was in and out of the lineup as well, so, you know, gonna, gonna have to see. Um, wow, the Bruins look pretty dominant. The Bruins already have 53 wins this year. That's pretty crazy. Um, right now, the Golden Knights are number one in the West, and, and the Kings are second, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, the Bruins look like <laughs> the Bruins look pretty dominant. I guess I would pick them to win because they're the best team. I have no idea. Will the Celtics make it to the NBA Finals? I actually have no idea. Um, uh, I kind of already talked about this earlier in the live stream. I think the Bucks might be uh, the lock-in team for the Eastern Conference Finals. I don't know about. Celtics or the Sixers, those two are the team I'm assuming are going to be the odd ones out, and I have no idea who, who I would pick to make it um, to the next round. I don't know. I think the Sixers have the most potential uh, on their team, obviously having Joel Embiid, James Harden, uh, Tyrese Maxey can be a very good player, even Tobias Harris has good games from time to time, and their team's pretty deep, but the Celtics and the Celtics, they are defending Eastern Conference champions, so they're not going to be an easy outing either, but, yeah, I don't know. The Bucks have been on fire the second half of the season, so whoever goes up against them is going to have a, a tough, tough one on their hands. <laughs> uh, I'm a Sixers fan, so I have zero confidence, we always fold. <laughs> Yeah, oh man, Sixers fans, I feel so bad for people who watch the Sixers because, man, they, it's crazy to think the Sixers have never made an NBA Finals. Like, that's so mind-boggling to think about. I don't know, they've always been, like, one of the best teams in the East for, like, the past, like, handful of seasons, and, yeah, they just can't get over the hump. But, obviously, well, it's kind of tough when there's, like, Giannis in the East, and then even last year with with the Celtics and how good they, how good they were. Um, I don't know. Could you imagine? 
imagine if the Sixers get first rounded this year. Oh my God. And then also James Harden is a free agent. Oh man, it could really collapse pretty hard for the Sixers if things don't go well for them. Oh, yikes, 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 yikes. Um, thank you so much for that, Carlos. That's definitely like one of the biggest uh, compliments for me. Uh, you know, people say all the time, oh, I love your sports talking stuff. Oh, I love, you know, your, your IRO videos. I love it when people can just watch whatever I put out and enjoy it. So that's that's really, thank you. Thank you, Carlos. That's awesome. Thank you so much for that. Um, yo, what's up, AC3? What's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, yeah, I think the Sixers also missed out their, their finals chance in the 18-19 season as well. Um, do you think the Warriors, sorry, do you think the Lakers will make the playoffs? Yes, I do, and I think they will probably be the seventh seed. I think they're going to be in the play-in game of seven and eight, and I think they're going to win out as either the seventh or the eighth seed, whatever one they finish as, and I think they're going to play as the seventh seed in the NBA playoffs. Uh, do most subs not watch all your videos? Ryan, a lot of people do not watch. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, I have almost 22,000 subscribers, and, you know, there's like a chunk of them who only watch my sports stuff, and there's a chunk of them who only watch like my traditional IRL videos, and then there's another chunk of people who only watch my, you know, super duper insane 200 IQ, 10 out of 10 video ideas, mind boggling. Wow, Jake, this is one of your best video kind of videos. So it's kind of hard to get those three groups of people to watch one video. So, um, it's tough. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be surprised if Cleveland beats my aunt, uh, Milwaukee in the second round. That's that's an interesting take. That could be pretty tough. Yeah, I think uh, Cleveland, the Cavaliers, are a very dark horse team. I think that's a team that could probably even make it to uh, the Eastern Conference Finals if things play out for them. But uh, it's going to be pretty tough for them, honestly. Um, have you ever had a fan interaction IRL? I've had. That's good, Ryan. That's great. Thank you for thank you for that. Um, Milwaukee is last year 
sons. Wow, that's a, that's a spicy, spicy, spicy take. Milwaukee is last year's Phoenix Suns. It could happen. It could for sure happen. Yeah. Um, Walker Kessler or Nicholas Claxton. Um, right now, probably would go Nicholas Claxton for the future. I think Walker Kessler has some great upside. Um, I think he can even add a little bit more to his offensive game. Uh, you could be definitely a, a great, great center in today's NBA. I think I've already saw, I've already seen a stat that he produces as much defense as Rudy Gobert did for the Utah Jazz. So, I mean, the Utah Jazz already <laughs> have found their Gobert replacement, but, like, Kessler's pretty good. And I'll see Nicholas Clash right now is, you know, I wouldn't say he's, like, a defensive player of the year candidate, but he, he plays like a defensive player of the year candidate, if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, this man puts me to sleep every time. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm always very um, self-conscious when it comes to my videos. Like, of course, like, I want my videos to be entertaining and, like, you know, show more of, like, my personality. Because, like, being on YouTube for six years, really trying for like the past like two years um doing a lot of live streams now i still really don't feel like a lot of like me is is really connected with you guys which is why you know i would love to do like twitch live streams or like non asmr live streams just be more like normal i guess even though this is like very normal for me right now i'm not like saying i'm like putting on like a facade for you guys but um it's always great to connect with you guys and just to show my more self in videos but i also do love being relaxing and that's always the number one thing about this channel so i'm always very nervous that i'm not relaxing enough for you guys to fall asleep to which even then it's not like a crazy thing uh i don't really sleep a lot when i watch asmr i usually just watch asmr for relaxation but i also watch asmr kind of just for um entertaining purposes nowadays you know, I, I like watching ASMR just to watch ASMR. I don't really like even fall asleep to really ASMR that much anymore. Do I miss high school? Um, yes and no. I miss the um, social parts of high school. Well, I mean, actually, even like learning stuff every day was actually like thinking about it now how exciting that is to like think about learning something new or at least a topic every single day seems like really interesting to me now and uh kind of took that for granted at the time but yeah i mean of course i miss like the social aspect of high school but that is a very small part in a person's lifespan i think people take high school and stuff like that too seriously um for sure for sure uh, do another top 10 video. Maybe. Maybe I can do another top 10 video. That could be fun. Oh, actually. I might do that. That might be actually a good video idea. Um, Orlando Magic have the best young potential in the league. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, the Thunder have a good of Giddy, Shea, Chet Holmgren, even some of the other guys like Jalen Williams are really good too. That might be, that might be too, a little bit too spicy of a take there, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> um, it's a good team though, I really like watching the, uh, the Orlando Magic, I think it's definitely like the, uh, the, the, I said this earlier, they're my favorite bad team. What's the longest you've grown your hair out? Uh, I used to have, like, really, like, long hair um, back in the day. Uh, I don't know. I don't really pay all that much attention to my hair that much anymore. <laughs> um, two hours later, you're still on. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I would be on. Um, I, I'm actually almost to the three-hour point of the live stream, which is kind of crazy. Um, that's pretty pretty wild almost to the uh three hour point which is usually the uh the amount of 
time I like to stay on these live streams are usually three hours. Um, even though, you know, again, I've already stated this, this wasn't like the craziest live stream, this wasn't like the most viewed live stream or the most donut live stream, but um, I know whenever I get into like a good groove of being here, I usually stick around for three hours, even though I never promise three hours. I usually always stick around for three hours. It's pretty funny. Uh, show old pictures of you. Um, maybe, maybe one of these days. Actually, um, um, GB, 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 GB ASMR has a video of her uh, showing old pictures of herself, and it's actually like a very like sweet video. And um, you know, maybe if I could like find some pictures I, I guess I have some on my phone that I could do but obviously that's like that's like very personal you know and I wouldn't want people to like keep those pictures and like you know that's kind of weird um but maybe one of these days maybe one of these days I'll, I'll do it the pistons yeah that's a good one too um do you think pistons I'm sorry do you think T-Mac would have won a ring would have won a ring if he stayed longer I think anything it was just health for T Mac. I think he definitely could have been the best player on a title winning team if it was just healthy and he just wasn't. Because, you know, even him in Houston with um Yao Ming was a good duo. It's just the fact that he couldn't stay healthy and obviously Yao Ming couldn't have either, but uh, I think if Tracy McGrady did stay in Toronto with obviously Vince Carter, that would have been that would have been good enough. But uh, it's very hindsight say that about him now, knowing what happened to, to him and Vince and blah blah blah, so, I don't know, apparently, uh, apparently at one point in time, I think Tim Duncan was actually almost on his way to, um, San Antonio, I think, I mean, from San Antonio to Orlando, I think there was like a, a rumor that Tim Duncan might have joined the Orlando Magic with Tracy McGrady, but, uh, that did Staying in San Antonio, obviously. <laughs> uh, what are the three best vacation spots you have visited? Um, I think for sure Cali, just because it's like my family. <laughs> my family, I, I miss them a lot. Uh, I'm actually going to see them sometime soon, within like the next like month or two. Uh, I'm planning on going to, to California to see my family. I oh, definitely miss them. I know, obviously, of course, the beach, LA. Disneyland, uh, great food, duh, um, other than that, I would say Hawaii, uh, I only went to Hawaii, um, one time, and it was great, I went when I was, like, 13, um, out with my mom and my grandpa before he passed, yeah, wow, that was, like, the last vacation we went with him, and, uh, that was an amazing time, obviously, I would like to go now, since, like, over, being over 21, definitely have a lot of fun in Hawaii now, but, um, I'd love to go again, and then after that, I mean, Vegas, Vegas has been pretty fun to me every time I've gone, the, well, the two times I've been to Vegas, um, they've been insane, they've been so much fun, uh, great food, great atmosphere, I, I've dug it going to Vegas, so yeah, maybe, maybe Vegas. Yeah, Tim Duncan and Tracy McGrady would have been wild. What YouTubers do you watch outside of ASMR? Um, I, you know, I watch, like, the big-time guys, like, uh, like, Sidemen. I love the Sidemen for sure. Been a big fan of KSI for a while. Uh, Cody Ko is a great one, too. Um, I don't know what I have to go, like, down my list. Oh, um, again, big fan of Disney. Uh, there's a daily vlogger whose name is Kyle. Some things like Kyle, Kyle P, Kyle Palo, Palo, something like that. Uh, he, he's a daily vlogger for uh, like Disney World and stuff. Love that content. Um, some other ones that I can think about. Um, if you could go anywhere in the in Europe, where would you go and why? Um, Europe is great. I think, um, of course, Italy. Um, of course, just like the UK in general. Like going anywhere to anywhere in the UK would be great, uh, of course, like, obviously, like, England would be amazing, obviously, like, London would be sick, yeah, that's, yeah, Rome, um, man, I don't know, obviously,
obviously when it comes to like Europe, you can obviously go to like a lot of places when you go out there. So if I were to ever go out there, yeah, I would go to like as many countries and cities and places as I possibly could because you can do that. Because everything is so close together, you know. Oh man, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> So, I don't even have a lucky number. Uh, if I get a, a lucky number, I will tell you about it. Because I need a lucky number. Because I'm not very lucky. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's say Yeah, make sure you guys, again... Um, I wear like the same like 10 shirts 
that's it. So, uh, I don't really have like, a lot of thoughts on fashion, uh, but when it comes to designer, uh, if you can afford it, go for it, as long as you appreciate it and don't flaunt it, I guess. Uh, favorite soccer team, uh, I don't really necessarily have one, but I do watch a lot of like the highlights and stuff of like uh, the, the Premier League and stuff like that. Uh, Japan versus US. I'm excited, obviously I'm rooting for the US, but also the Japan team has um, Shohei Otani, who's a LA Angel, which is great, so uh, <laughs> I'm kind of okay with whoever, whoever wins, but the would be really cool to see the the U.S. team to win. Do they get like a like a medal if they win, or like a trophy? I don't know. Is there like a second and third place, like a bronze and silver thing? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, thank you, Ryan. Uh, Kings and six. I don't know, man. If the Kings play the Lakers in the first round, seven two matchup, like that is going to be. I have no idea how I'm going to feel about that, honestly. Um, I like the Kings. I want them to, to do good. I can I talk about how great I think about them, but man, LeBron and AD playing fully healthy with this deeper team that they have now. I mean, against a, a first-time playoff team and the Kings and a young team and blah, blah, blah. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Mike Trout swings makes me feel a way nothing else does. When Mike Trout swings the bat, it feels and looks like a home run every single time. It's pretty insane. <laughs> uh, Bill Russell or Wilt all time. Gotta go Bill Russell. Uh, great stats, but also great winning as well. Not more to the NBA and its history as well. He did a lot for not only just uh, the league, but like the players in the league. There's actually a really good Bill Russell documentary on Netflix Give it a watch. Very insightful. A uh, great human being. Uh, Bucks definitely aren't as fraudulent as the Suns were last year. Um, yeah, I know there was, there was a person saying that the the Bucks this year are the Suns of last year. I wouldn't really say that either. But um, are they beatable? Absolutely. If Chris Middleton, you know, knock on wood, isn't the the same as he used to be, which it seems like he isn't. Um, they're definitely beatable, but it's hard to beat the Bucks with Giannis and Drew Holiday playing the way he has already. Um, I've already stated, I think, whoever the 4-5 matchup is, which I think right now is the Knicks and Cavaliers, whoever faces the, the Bucks in the second round, um, they're going to have a lot on their plate for sure. A tough loss for the Knicks, yeah. Good game from Julius Randle, though. Really good game from Julius Randle. Um, uh, these guys are going all about painful it is to be a Blazer fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not like a. I like. I, I, I sort of. I, I. I. Whoa. Slow down. I always have talked about. Uh, as like a sports fan, I'm not like a like a like a diehard. Like, if my team loses, I'm crying, or if my team's winning, I'm like bragging and blah blah blah. I'm not really much like that as a, I guess, a person, I guess, so, um, yeah, Portland sucks, and that's a thing, and I don't really like to let it really get to, to me all that often, uh, I'm actually really excited about, like, next season, or even this off season, I guess, more importantly, and, you know, trades, and the NBA draft, the draft lottery, um, I'm pretty interested to see what, uh, kind of what happens there, really anything could happen, I have no idea, <laughs> finally made the stream. Awesome, Josh. I'm actually about to get off, though, so I'm super sorry, Josh, if you're just now getting to the live stream about to about to get off. Uh, the zoo video, I think, is going to be more towards the weekend, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, just so, like, more people are available. Obviously, if I post it too early, people are at school. If I post it too late, people are this and that, so uh, I might wait till, like, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Uh, I was even thinking about releasing the video tomorrow, like I'm editing the video right now and I could get it done tomorrow, but, you know, a random Tuesday for a video that I really, really, really want to do well, um, I don't know, that's the, the, the greatest idea to do it, you know what I mean, so, yeah. I'm trying being a 
super sonics fan oh my god yeah tyler i could i yeah i don't even want to go there that sucks man um i don't think the bucks are gonna do anything in the playoffs because of no chris middleton yeah i mean obviously they're gonna have chris middleton but yeah he isn't like the same chris middleton as before like in the bucks previous runs chris middleton was like he was almost like their go-to scorer um, when it came to the playoff games. Like, he was a bucket. Now, like, Giannis is going to have to do a lot for them to make it pretty far. And, I don't know. It's going to be tough in the West. I mean, in the East. Well, also in the West, but in the East for sure. Uh, that's cool, Josh. Yeah, for sure. Sunday is the best, I think. Do you think so? Sunday. We'll have to see. Ravens need to relocate to Portland. <laughs> With, like, the Ravens, like, the football team. That'd be interesting. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna get off, guys. I love ya. Love ya, love ya, love ya, love ya, love ya, love ya. Love ya, love ya, love ya. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking around this live stream. Like I said before, it's kind of more of, like, a low-key live stream today. I very much appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like the live stream before you leave. live streams have been really good obviously youtube has been pushing my live streams a lot lately uh two of the past like four live streams we've done have gotten over thirty thousand views which is insane and obviously we have that one live stream that i think is like almost at 120,000. so um liking the video obviously works so make sure you guys do that make sure you guys have a good night make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves make sure you guys are you know are doing good and i don't really say that a lot anymore in my videos so i do a Makes me